Hey guys, welcome to Baldwin House Hobbies. Thanks for watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Baldwin House Hobbies. We're going to go ahead and get this uh, MiG-29 assembled. I'm here with Dean. That's Hi. my son. He loves flying too. Dean, what do you like to fly the best? I like to fly the A-15 Super Hornets. Yeah. So we're going to um, we're gonna build this up and uh, get the receiver in it um, and then get everything programmed. So let's go ahead and start with our build. Instructions are going to go ahead and tell us to put on uh, the front part of the cockpit right now. Um, for that, you're going to need your glue, which is in this kit. So we'll open that up. All right, so let's hang on to this piece because we need that. That goes in the nose. I want to show them that. So that goes in the nose. This is the glue we're going to use. So first things first, we're going to take this and we're going to glue this piece, okay? Okay. All right, we've got to pop that open. Pop it open. All right. So, yep. We're going to generously coat this. This is in the front. We want to generously coat it, make sure everything's good to go so that it doesn't come loose on a uh, flight or taxi or any of that. Um, let's see here. And plus, if the, can if the canopy is like way in the front and it comes off, the plane will just run over you. And that will be fun. Yep. Well, if it's like a real-life plane, you're in it, but All right. it's an RC. So we got this glue. It's pretty well coated here. Um, we're going to go ahead and stick this in. There's no screws to this, so it's glue. That's all that's holding it on. Go ahead and stick that in. You want to push that in for me? Yeah. All right. Push that all the way in, tight as you can. All right, good job. All right, so you see these little brackets here? Mm -hmm. So, that where, like, fake lights are gonna go? Nope, nope, we have brackets. So we, oh. once, once we get this in, there oh, are right. four brackets, two on this side and two on this side. That's gonna be these guys right here, that you gotta put in. One's gonna go here, like so. And then you've got one that goes on the top, like that. And what that does is that keeps that, it gives it a little more strength. All right. Oh well, well, I thought is that you just have one for. Yep, you've got you've got here and here. Oh. So let's go ahead and glue this. Oh, you don't need one for this. No, you gotta have them for both sides. All right, so that's got some good glue on it. Are you gonna put that on for me? Yep. Push it in. Watch your fingers on the other glue. All right, so these got arrows on them. See that arrow? See how they have arrows forward? And this says right and left. So there's a right and a left differentiation on this. Um, so here's your, that's your left one. You did it fine. Just push it in. You're good. Wipe the glue off a little bit. Right, I'm going to glue this here. Take those two. And we're going to put this glue on here. When you actually put too much glue on, you could just like wipe it off yep. for a minute or two. Yeah, if you get too much glue, just wipe it off with your fingers. Have a paper towel available. Uh, go ahead and stick that straight one on there. Make sure the arrow is facing forward. Okay. Yep, is that arrow facing forward? Yep. Okay, so push it down. Lock it in. We'll wipe that glue a little bit because we've got a little much on that. Make sure you get the top. Sure yep. the so I'm going to use my shirt my pants because these are work pants, but... Uh, um, I would suggest having a paper towel. Hey, look. Paper towels. There we go. Good. Now we have paper towels. We don't have to get our pants dirty, so Mom won't get mad at us, right? <laughs> I, put, I put some of it on, too. All right. Well, let me glue this one in here. Some glue on that. Generous glue. You don't want it coming apart. Make sure it goes on the right way. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Push it in, push it hard. Good job. All right, cool. So, so we've got those in. We've got to let that glue dry. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take this nose cone. And stick 
that on the bad thing. Yep. But so, first you need the piece wherever it went. That piece. This is going to go in a, ve a specific way. So your bigger end. That's how it gets straight. Yep. Again. So your bigger end is two different two different ends. So your bigger end is going to go into the nose cone, and then your smaller end will go into the fuselage part. Um, so do you want to add some glue to that for me? Yeah. Just squeeze some glue down on that. Make sure you spread it so that you don't have a bunch of glue. Yep. Gets more in there. I need a lot of glue on that. This this is this is the only thing keeping the nose cone on. So we gotta. There you go. That's good. Yeah. All right. So now we got some glue on that. We'll go ahead and put that in. Now I'm personally not gonna glue uh, this to the fuselage. Um, because what if something got damaged inside of the nose cone? Yep. If, if you damage the nose cone or if you're transport, if you're in transport, you can pull this off. So I'm not going to do anything to the nose cone, but we are going to go ahead and just stick that on there. Just like that. There you go. Um, we've got, the yep, we got one more piece here. This is the plastic piece that goes on the front of the nose cone. Just like That's that. That's what makes the jet a little cooler. Yeah. Now we can glue that. Um, I'm not going to glue it for transportation purposes. I will probably keep this out as I as I uh, take this places. Just in case there's like a hole right there too. So you can see here, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, you want to make sure that these these tend to bend a lot, so you take them out during uh, it transportation. It probably costs like one cent or one dollar or something. A couple, probably a couple bucks. I don't know. I don't know what it is to replace those, but but I know that they have to be a little cheap because that's just a little thing. All right, so let's see here. We've got. We'll leave a comment down below what it costs. All right, let's. What are we doing next? Are we doing wings? Are we do wings next. Mm -hmm. I think it's. By the way, make sure and like and subscribe. All right, so it wants us to do the vertical or the horizontal stabilizers next, and then the verticals. Um, oh wait, so we're gonna have to do the black yep. wings. Yep. Is so that? I'm gonna. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and flip the jet over. I'll flip the fuse over. That way we can get to, to the, the linkages. Uh oh. I thought so that we was. need to be able to get to these linkages here. See how these are? Oh yeah. So they look like they need a little work, but. Let's apply. Alright, let's see here. We have this is By the way, if you don't look at our other YouTubes, I meant our other things, make sure you watch them because there's one that has a camera on the back of the jet. Which is kind of cool. All right, so we've got those, so it, we need to... It did fall off one. <laughs> All right, so here are, as I said here, the uh, these are fully articulating uh, horizontal stabilizers, so the whole thing will move. Um, some jets... Uh, I don't really have them. The, the, the free wing 90 millimeter F-18, um, the, the Legacy Hornet, does have fully articulating. Same thing with the... Um, F4 Phantom and the F35, but if you go to like uh, E Flight or something like that, they tend not to have that. You have just the, uh, a small elevator, it's just the back portion of it. So it's kind of nice to have the fully articulating. I like it. It's the blue, the blue angel that I was talking about. That's mine. I love the blue angels. Okay, so let's see here. Where do you want me to put the glue right over there? Mm, just put the glue right over there. Alright, so... Alright, so, let's see. My great-great-dad used to fly the B-17s, or Grandpa. Alright, so to put these on, you're going to need this piece, this... Uh, I, it's uh, just this this metal rod here, and then you'll need these 
uh, rings in this first part of the package. We'll open that up. Um, what else do we need? I think we need. Oh wait, you had the screws. I got the screws. You need a plastic bar. Where's the plastic bar is? What plastic bar? It saves it right. That's there. no. That's that's the that's main way. We're going this stuff right here. Oh. Okay. So. That's a little bar. I love jets. Right. So the ball joint, so the other thing I'm seeing here is that the um, push rod to the ball joint is attached to um, the piece that holds in uh, this, the, the stabilators. So you're going to have to undo that. Um, it takes a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll put that in real quick. Do you want to undo the other one after I get this one done? It's a pretty easy little screw. One tiny little screw to get that out. So go ahead and take that out and then we'll... And so the way you're going to put this in, there are two... And I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera. There are two uh, indentation parts. So this is going to go into the fuse part. And the solid side is going to go over here. With this, screw. Right, you hand me the screw. Keep, always keep your extra screws, right? So, we'll if you put, don't have extra screw and you lost the screw, there's no way finishing the project that you're doing. All right, so we're going to need a tiny Allen head for this. Um, let's see if I can find my Allen head here real quick. Just the right one. Yep, so small Allen head. It wants you to stick on this before you stick it on the plane. So that's what I'm going to do. So we got this. You can take this and stick um, the rod in. Put your clevis in there. And then you can make that clevis, tighten that up. Um, I recommend using blue Loctite on these if you have it. If you don't, you could... Look for other strong glue or something to keep it in. Loctite's all you're going to want to use on oh. on this Loctite. because metal. You want to buy a Loctite. Yeah. Alright, so we'll take these other four screws. It gives you four screws in that second pouch. These are used for other stuff, so we'll set those to the side. These are, I believe... Yep, uh, these are Phillips head screws, so where did the screwdriver go, bud? Oh, I put it on the counter since we're not using it. Well, we're going to need it again right now. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Got it. Oh. Found it. Okay. Forgot. So, uh, I would go ahead and start these screws. Sorry about that. You're fine. I would go ahead and start these screws. And we're putting them back in so that. And then. What? You're gonna tighten them down until the stabilator, or the ver or the horizontal stabilizer. How do you connect back to that? You take this piece here. Oh. Okay. You so. Need a screw. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. So is this side over here? So we'll take this, put this other screw in. It says, it's not my first YouTube, well, my YouTube thing that I did with my parent, my dad. i done multiple videos with my dad. All right, you should be able to take that um, ball joint clevis. Can you hand me the uh, needle nose pliers over there? Yep. That are underneath the glue? This? Yep, yep those. So with the ball joints... You should be able to pop them on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Quick and easy pop on. You don't have to take that screw out, but now this is in. Um, hopefully, we'll find out later if these are centered or not um, and what, not, what we have to move on this. We may have to pop that back off and adjust the, um, adjust the push rod here. So we're going to go ahead and get that other side done. 
You, do you have the other rod? Um, it's right there. You want to get it? This? Yep, that okay. silver rod. All right. All right, so you want to do this one? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this little baby screw here. This goes in the, um, the wing part or the, the end of the stabilizer. So what you want to do, I'm going to let, I'm going to let Dean take on this one. So put the, you're going to put that in. Don't go all the way because you got to drop this in there, right? We're not going. I'm really gentle. All right, so this one's a little bit tight. Um, there's that bushing. That's probably why it was tight. It's got a, uh, looks like a metal ball bearing in it, uh, or me metal um, bearing, Something metal. which is good. That means you shouldn't have too much friction on it once it goes, but it might be a little difficult to get it in. All right, dude, come here. Okay. So we're going to stick that clevis or that uh, circular ring into here. Here you go, bud. So you can take this mm -hmm. into that and tighten it up. That way. Yep. Tight as much as you can. I'll help you out a little bit there. All right, good job. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Yep, I say that all the time because sometimes I, I forget. I forget, so I like to say that. All right, do you want to do the screws for this? Okay, so he's going to go ahead and stick this in. Don't go too far now. Oh, sorry. Nope, you're fine. I'm going to start the screw because it's a little... It's, it's a little hard when you start it. Mm -hmm. Which is okay because... Well, if you're just a kid that wants to make and you're having trouble, ask a parent to help you out. Mm -hmm. Or stay down so that you can build an airplane. Or, or if you're a kid and you already know how to make an airplane, then you're fine. You just have right, to. So let's make sure that doesn't come in and out. So see how it's. It's locked up and yep. tight. So we're good on that. We're locked. We need the. Locked up thing. No, we need the pliers. Pliers. You don't know those pliers. And we turn that to the side, right? So it goes on there, and then we we just pop it on. That is the nice thing about ball joints is that we can just pop it on. Yep. So that's on. We Let's have we now have our uh, horizontal stabilizers on. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and flip back over and do the vertical. Now it might might be easier to do the horizontal or the verticals. With it upside down, I'm gonna find out here in a second. After this video, um, the next video that we make that's about this flying, make sure you watch it because I know it's gonna look pretty in the sky. All right, so we've got these. There's only one way for these to go in. I was about to say I think that wrong right there. Okay, so. Or else if you were right. No, no, it was. This is the way. So the 156 will go on the outside. The VKT will go on the inside towards the middle of the fuselage. There are one, two, three holes here. You got one, two, three standoffs. Um, so we'll go ahead and plug this into the servo. Uh, make sure your connections are right. Um, My AK team is similar to the jet that we're working on, except it's the. Hornet and it has the tails that are like a little bended to the side. So up to you guys how you want to dress your wires. Um, there is a little bit of room inside the uh, the tail, the vertical stabilizer for it to go there. There's a little room there, so you may have to get those in um, however way you want to do it. Um, I do have a makeshift to the dog fire. It's in my box right now. All right, so now that that's in, I'm going to go ahead and pull it back out. I'm going to take a little bit of glue, um, and we're going to coat the front here and as well as the bottom. 
so that we can get to, you're going to coat in here so you got a channel in here where this thing's going to sit so you're going to coat that you want me to coat the upset yeah so what i want you to do look can i see it for a second mm -hmm. all right so you're going to coat it like What's that and thing? then you're going to coat this it doesn't necessarily need a lot of glue here because you're going to have the structural uh, screws and stuff that are in it yeah. but i'm doing it just because it'll it'll add a little bit of a stronger uh, stru it'll it'll add a or, little bit of strength for it yeah. just a reminder don't get your glue in those holes if you do wipe your holes before you put screws in it because if, if something's wrong with the tail and you need to take it out how are you going to take it out but if it's glued all right i'm going to flip this to the side so the top is facing you guys this seems to be the easiest for me i'm going to hold and i'm going to put the screws in here so where'd our package go I think this is going to be it. So yeah. So third package, third rung on this is going to be your screws for everything else until you get to your wing bolts. All right. So when you have the wing on, it's not going to really show the landing here right there. Nope, it won't. Nope. All right. All right, these screws are all Phillips head as well, so you don't have to do too much on that. So, currently, as we're ta as we're talking, the only one that I needed a small Allen head for was the cle the clevis on the back end of this. Otherwise, you don't really need. Um, I haven't seen any other things that need an Allen head. Yes, you know why I'm such a big plane is be plane guys because there's a bunch of people that's been in the Navy and friends that friends dads that been in the Navy. My dad's been in the Navy and worked on A fifteen Super Hornets. Did I embarrass you nope, from nope. saying that? So you got three screws for each vertical stabilizer here. Mm -hmm. Now these tools, I, I got this tool kit from our local hobby shop when we were in Raleigh. Um, yeah, we used to have Raleigh and we used to have cool, air, cool other airplanes, but we moved up here and now we have like other planes. And we got rid of some that we were used to be in Raleigh, we got rid of some. Right. Even a red bike. So this, this tool kit is um, basically like a it, it comes you can like use it like a ratchet almost. Uh, it has that ratcheting function on it. Um, so you just hold and you don't have to twist your hand nonstop, which I find much more helpful. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, stabilizer one, vertical stabilizer one on. We're going to go ahead and get the other one ready to go. Dean, do you want to go ahead and get the other vertical stabilizer for us? Yeah. Wait, what is that? Oh. Wait. Wait, wait. This one. This yep. This. Good job. Okay. I got confused there. It's all right. Okay, so we're going to need that glue. The glue again? All right, so again, I'm going to show you guys. So you got three, one, two, three connections here to screw it into. You got the same thing here. We're going to put some glue on this. Um, I think it would be better if it's glued. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that. I'm doing it for my purposes because I like it. Make sure you stay out of that hole. Yep. I might, I might got a little flat in there. No, you didn't. You're good. Again, your 156 is going to go on the outside. The VK or I VTC. Think, I think I actually put two. This one's VTC. You're okay. Uh, that one's VKT. Wow. Well, Different. All right. There you go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and connect or put our connections in here. And make sure you always have the wires connected because then you won't have any connection from the remote control to your jet or plane. 
Yeah, make calling. sure your connections are, are right. Um, remember that uh, transmit wire is is very, very important for flying. All right. Uh, even with real jets, you still have to connect wires even when you feel like you don't need to. Because you always need you always need to control it or else it won't fly. Or... All right, so I'm going to flip the jet away from us this time um, so you guys can get a little more view of the bottom. But yeah. you can also see there's a screw hole here, here, and screws. here that we'll put in. So you need these three screws. It is really, you know, Top Gun is the best movie. I watched Top Gun and I, and my dad said it beat it Avengers End, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. I think I did have it right. Right. I love Top Gun. Got that one. Now I suppose you could use a drill for this. Um, I wouldn't. Um, I'm not going to because it's probably you're going to strip out something if you don't take your time with it. Um, these are it's just plastic guys so we're uh, box plane we're box plane guys and we're also like big plane guys we like, we like to fly any size planes no matter what how much size it is you don't really care about the size they're just cool no matter what right Dad? Mm -hmm. all right so we got these vertical stabilizers on jets coming together now just like that, we have a little bit of the back front. I think we still got a little All right, bit so on the back. I think we're done on the back. What we're going to do now... I think the front's dry over here. Probably. But. We're going to go ahead and get our wings on. Be sure to pull your connections out. Mm -hmm. um, like that. You got the wing spar over there? What wing spar? Oh, wait, this wing spar? That's over here? This yep. yep, that's our wing spar. So, wing, wing spar big. for this plane. It's going to go all the way through. Big. All the way through. I thought the plane was a little smaller. Alright, you got the left wing. That's Wait. the right wing. Wait, we're right. Let's do, let's do left first. And careful. Oops. Sorry. You're good. You're good. I didn't mean to slam it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put this left wing on. The connections here are real, are real simple. Um, there's only one way for it to go on here. Okay. That's going to be, um, th there are two uh, indentations here. They're going to go downwards on this. Stick your wing in first on that. Stick your wing on the wing spar. And then the jet looks like it's complete. connect your connection. I'm going to push that wing spar a little bit so it hits the end of this. And then we're going to stick that wing on. All right. Um, again, I'm going to flip the jet one more time towards you guys. And I'm going to put the wing bolts in over here. These wing bolts are, again, they are uh, Phillips head screws. Um, it shouldn't be that hard to put them in. Um, I recommend... I don't use uh, Loctite on these because it's... It, it, I mean... You shouldn't have the need for Loctite on these. They go in pretty well. Um, yeah, that one, it, they tightened up really, really nicely. We're going to come back to your side. And I'm going to flip the jet again on its side. So the bottom is facing you guys. might be a little difficult as that wing is on there now and it's not going to stay where I want it to. If you don't have any balance on the other side, it's like it's not going to stay where it is. There we go. Now we got it. All right. You want to hand me that other wing there, buddy? Yeah. Here's the other wing. All right. So again, I'm going to stick my wing spar in there first. So, and then I'm going to take that connection 
Now, when you get these connections done, you should be able to slide the excess cord here in my fingers straight down into the fuselage. And then that's in. Everything should be covered. You wanna, we'll get these two other wing bolts in here. We'll put the... Um, what? We're gonna put the canopy on it. Oh, we'll give you guys a little bit of a show of the plane, how it looks now. The canopy is a little, it has big, it's big. Actually. You can see here, these are going to go in just fine. Um, it's big as my leg. Mm -hmm. It's big as my leg. So we'll put that in there just like so. And then we put this one this in here. Okay, I'll put it down so that can be working. All right. If you do want to make your own planes and test them out, go to Simple Planes. I know it's not RC, but you can make your own planes and test them out on like Emonies and things like that. It's a cool game. All right. So I got the wings on. Games. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, now that we have this built, I'm going to put this... Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta do one more thing. I forgot about adding that tray. Remember guys, there's this tray. It needs to go into your um canopy. Into the into the canopy, into the fuselage here. Um, so that your battery can stay in and not so, fall out. Yeah, if you undo, there should be a twist tie to undo all your connections. Fold those to the back. Uh, I would leave that in there just in case you want to uh, move maneuver some stuff around um, I, You may or may not want to keep it in there um, Your battery might take up more than In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and since remove jets, that for mine Since jets are far, they, they might take up almost all the battery in like one minute or one second uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this piece that's holding those wires in uh, because I do run 6,000 milliamp hour batteries and they're going to be big for this so we got that and what we'll do is i got a couple extra screws We're probably big enough for it so we got these screws why, why do you remove this stuff the little pieces that you we got those me. two extra screws that we pulled out of the back um so i'm going to go ahead and use those as my this does probably go as fast because it's a two engine um just uh, so part of that reinforcement, I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, all right, so what I'll do is I'll be back. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put this in there. And I'll show you guys here in a second how it looks. I dropped the screw. I dropped the screw. Uh, as another reminder, if your shop has gray floors, try to put something under it because then you can see things. Oh, found the screw. Dropped it in the plane. All right, so let's get these screws in there. Just like that, I'm back. Because I had my brother tell my mom something. And of course, if you have tiny fingers, it, it, it helps. Um, I don't have tiny fingers. He has tiny fingers. So I can literally help easily. Here, put that screw in. Okay. <laughs> and of course, whenever I say I have tiny fingers, my dad uses me to do something. All right, you want me to get the finishing touches on that one? Yeah. All right, so I got that screw in. Can you get this screw in there? In that hole right there? <laughs> Your I tiny saw... fingers? Too tiny. Help. There. Good job. Thank you. See, it helps to have a micro around so that he can help you. <laughs> Especially one that loves airplanes as much as I do. Since I have tiny fingers, I can help my dad easily. 
All right, we got if one more screw. Kid, if you have a kid, tell them to come help you. That has tiny fingers. Like that, me. that is for sure. All right. Because it's, it's really hard to do it if you have big fingers. Mm-hmm. Or a pair of pliers, but I like to use my tiny fingers because. All right. Well, if so... you have like a screw, you can use like a screwdriver. Yep. All right. So, or if you have magnetic screwdriver, which would help. But, all right. So what I'm going to show you guys, this extra battery pack right here. All right. So you've got the extra, that, that battery pack that goes in there. There's four screws that tie it in. And it also attaches to that front part of the fuselage for you. So that gives you some added strength. Um, let's see here. Let's get this thing on. All right. And do you want to do the honors and put on the canopy so that everybody can see it? Me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oops. Oops, what? Something stuck. Oh. oh, it's the... There we go. And just like that, it's just like that. But we still have a lot more work to do. Yeah, we still got to get in here, and we're going to go ahead and get the uh, the receiver in here. I got to find, um, I'm going to use an eight channel receiver with telemetry. Um, once I get that in, we'll go ahead and get everything set up. Um, I'll figure out how to get the switch to work for uh, the thrust vectoring, um, and I will show you guys all the programming options that I do for this. Thanks again, guys, for coming back and watching this. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we'll get this thing flying in the next couple days. Um, and we'll see you on that flight. Thanks for watching. That's cool.